Yo, this Lincoln here, I'm gonna tear up this place. Hey Douglas, you better be good at saving face. I'm over six feet tall and you're five foot four. Listening to you, all it is is a bore. They call you the little giant, yes that they do. But they should have stopped a little. Cause, well, you are pretty little. Small. Yeah. No hating on my size. Look at you, you freak. No real education. It's no wonder you can't speak. You take fashion advice from an 11 year old girl. Haven't you heard your voice? It makes my ears want to hurl. Now, now. Let's get to the debate. I'm not gonna sit around and listen to your hate. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Slavery is not right in this or any land. More opposition to human bondage is where it's at. Say, Steve, what do you got against that? Yo, Lincoln, you be stepping on people's toes without free will in the states. All we got is woes. You filthy abolitionists, stop caring for them slaves. Without them in your favor, you ain't no better than a name. In the Douglas debate of age. There was rivalry issues shrouded in clouds of hate. Douglas was the victor, he received the Senate seat. But the virtues of Lincoln were totally out of lead. So for Lincoln, he didn't lose it all. For in 1860, he won standing tall. The Constitution is for all men you say, but you say the blacks are inferior in every way. You're against the expansion a slavery everywhere, but you're a hypocrite, so people stop and stare. Injustice and bad policy, slavery is based on, but the promulgation of abolition should not see the dawn. The federal government should be the ones to moderate, not your popular sovereignty, take that off the silver plate. Robbery issues shrouded in clouds of hate. Douglas was the victor, he received the Senate seat, but the virtues of Lincoln weren't totally obsolete. So for Lincoln, he didn't lose it all. For in 1860, he won standing tall. 